ninth race of the day, and here is the grid. So Farin Mega starts from pole position ahead of Yanis Liak. Nikita Genza and Rafael Renhofer, row two. Montego Massin and Mikkel Pedersen, row three. Nevio Fischer and Lewis Detling, row four. Austin Lee and uh, Adrian Hoare start on row five ahead of Rafael Bautza, Yoni Mertz, Luis Jacobs, Leon Vakula, Moritz Volper, Maximilian Schreier, Oli Glan, Hugo Gürtel, David Schnell, Gregor Feigenspan, Leandro Fischer, Jonas Ungnader, Richard Thomas, Tom Muller, and Zeno Falke. That is your 25 strong junior Rotax grid. And once again, seven minutes on the clock plus an additional lap. Fine Mega is probably going to be pretty happy at the moment because he took a win earlier on in heat one. Heat two, very different kettle of fish altogether. However, never say never in motorsport. Things can happen when you least expect it. Not trying to put a, uh, a jinx onto anybody, uh, but the thing is, is that motorsport is unpredictable and we see that predominantly in the world of karting. So now we have Mega and Stiak on the front row of the grid. It's a slow trundle towards the start of this race. Seven minutes on the clock plus an additional lap. So they make their way through in towards the final corner. The revs will start to rise. Here we go. Are we ready? The revs rise. We are light sound and off and racing. And Fine Mega once again gets a good start. This time being followed by Nikita Genza. Montego Masson up to P3. Will he be? Squeezes through on the inside of Montego Masson. There's a little bit of an incident a uh, little bit further back. Yoni Mertz a non-starter. I think uh, Yoni Mertz is a, is a non-starter. Leon Vacula a non-starter. So already down to 23 parts. Uh, there was a couple of carts getting very close indeed. I think maybe the likes of Mikkel Pedersen, Nevio Fisher, Austin Lee and Lewis Detling got a bit uh, concertina, let's say, as someone mounts the curbs. But that was a very, very interesting move there. Could have been from Gregor Feigenspan, I believe, as uh, it's getting a bit uh, uh, elbows out. And we've had a multi-cart incident, 2-2-2 two, two, two involved. Uh, that is Richard Thomas. The 242, I think I spotted there as well. Um, amongst others, well, it's the 212 of David Schnell. Maximilian Schein might have been in the thick of that thing. Uh, well, yeah, it was Jonas Ungnader. So it got, it was uh, very, very um, elbows out because it was a little bit of a tap. And yeah, like literally, it was the three carts didn't go into one. So five minutes and 44 seconds still to go. And fine mega leading the way Nikita Genza in second Montego Massa and Yanis Diak round out the top five as there's been a bit of a drama for Austin Lee but uh, a little bit further back uh, I think I saw the likes of Lewis Detling Nicol Pedersen get through as there's been more dramas there as well that looks to be possibly Lewis Detling that's just had a zone there it's changing all the time all the time here in this race and we still have just over five minutes to go, plus an additional lap. David Schnell, I think, has unfortunately parked the cart. And I would imagine the same is going to be said of Jonas Ungnader. He won't have an opportunity. Montego Masson has a massive moment. The cart, very, very difficult to control. He's gone very defensive on Yanis Diak. And Yanis Diak trying to do the old uh, switcheroo there. Doesn't get the job done through the hairpin. He could get a good run coming into the next right-hander. Not on this particular occasion. Rafael Bouncer closing in on Nevio Fisher. Austin Lee definitely getting his elbows out. He's just uh, staying ahead of Lewis Jacobs in the number 228. There are the two. There's the quartet that are leading the way. Byron Mega has got Nikita Genza breathing his, uh, the back of his race overalls. One of the things I've noticed is that Austin Lee and Fire and Mega are wearing their Team Germany overalls that they were due to wear at the Grand Finals last year. So, uh, matching pair in the awning, so to speak. But here we are with this battle here. Rafael Renhofer trying to close in on Mikkel Pedersen. Renhofer sends it up the inside from nowhere. And here comes Austin Lee. Austin Lee nearly had the opportunity of a lifetime there, courtesy of Mikkel Pedersen, who went very wide into the hairpin. But Austin Lee's just got to watch himself. He's pretty much piggy in the middle here 
And now that's a six train car because of the back of it looks to be possibly Moritz Volba. Back to the lead as we go. Three minutes and 42 seconds plus an additional lap. And it's just under three tenths. Right, OK. First penalty has just come through from race control on the fly. David Schnell has been given a five second time penalty for pushing. But that's not going to make any iota to his race time because of the fact that he is out of the race itself on the very first lap itself. So, three minutes and 20 to go. Leaders at the moment, it is Farhan Mega, Nikita Genza, Janis Diak, Monty Gomasson uh, now up into fourth, pass, uh, having been passed by Stiak, Nevio Fischer, Rafael Balza, Rafael Venn, Mikkel Pedersen, Austin Lee, Louis Jacobs ran at the top ten. Follow that up with Louis Stettling, Maurice Volber, Tom Müller, Gregor Feigenspan. Adrian Paul looks to be retiring now, I'm afraid, in 22nd position. And it's Zeno Falke, Hugo Götel, Leandro Fischer. Louis Stettling, in the meantime, has got past Louis Jacobs up in place. Uh, Leandro Fischer ahead of Oli Klan, Richard Thomas, Maximilian Schreier, and it looks like Jonas Ungrada is bringing up the rear in 21st position. So two minutes and 40 still to go. The leaders have, well, this battle here. Now this is, I think, that is Rafael Bouncer, and I recognise that number in front. Could that be Mikkel Pedersen? Or is that? Well, I no, that the different battle I'm seeing there. Very interesting when you have to look up and down the field. Well, that is actually, that is Rafael Bouncer closing in on Nevio Fisch. And that is the fifth place on the road. There's Farin Mega. He's gotten away to nearly the best part of seven tenths of a second ahead of Kita Genza. But Montego Masson trying to keep pace with Janis Diak is going to within six tenths or so. Rafael Henhofer is the fastest one out there. 46.963 seconds for the FM Racing driver. Currently situated in seventh place ahead of Mikkel, uh, ahead of Mikkel Pedersen. Austin Lee is still in ninth place at the minute. He's trying to close on in on those two. We have a minute and a half left to go on the clock. Adrian Hoare, confirmed retirement. David Schnell, confirmed retirement. in Leon Vacula, non-starters. And now the battle for set third and fourth has intensified, courtesy of Janis Diek and Montego Masson closing in on Nikita Genza. Nikita Genza, second in the championship standings coming into this round. Fine Mega just looking to cruise away, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's putting himself on the best foot forward, ready for tomorrow's action. Two races for Junior Rotax to conclude the season. 55 seconds on the clock, and Farin Mega still has a gap of about nearly a second. Nikita Genza making the rear end of that study cart chassis as wide as humanly possible as the expri of Janis Diak trying to close on in. The Marinello of Montego Masson is dropping back a little bit further now to the tune of nearly half a second. As we're on to what will be the penultimate lap of this race, lap number nine out of ten. Janis Diak looking to try and find the, the opportunity to present itself or make the opportunity happen for him. A little bit further back, Austin Lee is battling away with Lewis Detling in for ninth position. And Austin Lee at one point was up into P7 in this race. Ten on the clock to go next time around. They will get the final lap board, so it's just about keeping it and that's exactly what Farin Mega has needed to do all weekend long. Pole position in qualifying. And he will put himself on pole position for the heat, the races tomorrow. The last finals day of the season. As we're on to the final lap of the race. 1.241 seconds is the gap between first and second. But the, sec the battle for second, third and fourth is still full with filled with fire and brimstone. Picked considerably. Lewis Stettling in the meantime has got past Austin Lee. For ninth position going on to the final lap of this race and also the final lap of today for these drivers we have three more races to go to conclude everything there is second third and fourth but firing mega about to come out of the final corner he's going to take the check in and he's going to win both heats today. That puts him in prime position for tomorrow. Vice champion last year. He's on course. He is nearly at that fulcrum point that he gets to tomorrow. He wins that first race tomorrow. I think the title 
could be guaranteed as his. But Nikita Genza wasn't that far adrift coming through. Race results are as follows. Farin Mega in first place across the line. 1.309 seconds. Ahead of Nikita Genza, Yanis Diak rounds out the top three, and it was very close between those drivers from second, third, and fourth at the end of that race. Uh, Nevio Fischer ended up in fifth ahead of Rafael Bautza. Rafael Renhofer in seventh ahead of Mikkel Pedersen. Louis Stettling in ninth. Uh, Mikkel Pedersen in eighth, Lewis Stettling in ninth. Austin Lee rounds out the top ten, covered by 9.6 seconds with the top ten at the end of that race, covering ten laps. Louis Jacobs, Moritz Volba, Gregor Feigenspan, Leandro Fischer, Tom Müller, Zeno Falke, Hugo Götzl, Oli Glan, Richard Thomas, Maximilian Schreier, and Jonas Ungnader, the last of the 21 drivers that made it to the end of the race. Retirement from Adrian Hoare on lap three. David Schnell... Uh, eliminated through an incident on the very first lap with non-starters from Yoni Mars and Leon Vacula. <laughs>